Welcome to the Lead More Podcast, and today we're going to do something a little bit different. Allow me to reintroduce myself. Yes, I'm the host of the Lead More Podcast, John Meyer, but I also realize I haven't come and talk, talk to you guys much about what I've been working on. What am I doing today here, April 2024? Because it looks a lot different than when I started this podcast. And one of my favorite lines is, if you're a growth uh, growth mindset type of person, if you're focused on becoming better and improving yourself, and as I like to say, better every day, 1%, then if you haven't seen somebody in a while, 12 months, a year or two, maybe even six months, when I see a, an, an old friend or someone I haven't connected with in a while, I want to say, hey, allow me to reintroduce myself. I'm John, because you don't know this version of me, right? I'm a new person. I'm better every day, and I'm hitting a new level. So that's what I wanted to do today was introduce, reintroduce myself uh, and talk a little bit about what I'm doing here in April 2024. So when I started this podcast, June 2020, we were, what, three months into a global pandemic. Uh, as an agency owner, a CEO of Lemonly, we were just trying to really survive and, and keep our heads above water. And, and we did that well, successfully. But I started a podcast about leadership because I felt like the world needed more leaders. I felt like um, people deserved better leadership. And I wanted to highlight and focus on those people that I thought were doing just that. So the Lead More podcast started completely as a hobby. No goals or objectives. There was never meant to be a business. I just wanted to talk to great people. I always say to my entrepreneurs that I coach, I think every company should have a podcast. It's an amazing way to meet incredible people. And now over 100 episodes strong, I've got to talk to some incredible people. And here in South Dakota, of course, while it's a small state, we really are like two connections away from anybody. Um, you wouldn't normally get a 60 minute conversation with a former governor or the head football coach of a national championship team or the author of a New York Times bestselling book, right? But on a podcast, you can. So that's how the Lead More podcast started. And it was also a personal challenge. Like, could I do something every week? Discipline, routine, not my specialties as a human, when you look at my strengths finder. Um, but I did it. We did it every week for a year, 52 episodes straight. And then that second year, we did it about every other week. And then we just kept grinding to 100 episodes. That was my goal, make 100 episodes of a podcast. And we did it. When I started, I was the CEO of Lemonly a boutique creative design agency. When I finished, I was the CEO of a fledgling, barely alive NFT studio, which that anchors that to about uh, September of 2022. It was just closing up shop of the company that I started after I sold my business, Lemonly. And interestingly, around that 100 episode mark, I was probably a week or two into coaching entrepreneurs, which is exactly what I do now. So fast forward today, April of 2024, Lead More is actually a business. It started as a podcast for fun. Today, it's a business. And I coach services entrepreneurs, often solopreneurs who are deciding to build companies and not stressful jobs. And I'll dig into that. So what does Lead More do? Yes, it's still a podcast. And yes, you can still listen and hear from amazing leaders. And yes, I still believe the world needs more leaders. And I still believe that you can be the next person. So I hope that this podcast, the different leaders we hear from, the frameworks and models that we teach, equip you to, one, feel confident and have the mindset that you can be one of these leaders, but two, to step up and actually do it, right, to take charge. And so the way I've tweaked the podcast is maybe a little bit more tactical, a little bit more deliver packaged up and delivered as like a framework or a model that you can take. And so... You may not listen to every episode of Lead More Podcast. You may cherry pick a certain thing you want to learn or test or practice, and that's okay. That's exactly how the podcast is meant to do. So that's the podcast. What's Lead More the company? What does it mean to be a business coach? And I can tell you from that 100 episode when I was coaching two, three CEOs of creative agencies, just I wasn't even telling people I was a coach yet. I just wanted to test it, see if I liked it, see if I was any good at it. In 2023, I decided, one, yes, I do like it. And two, I think I'm pretty damn good at it. And so I started Lead More the business. And today it looks like a few different things. One, I coach CEOs of creative agencies and services companies, people who trade their time for money on a one-on-one -on -one program. 
it's my high ticket, most custom, most high touch coaching, one-on-one calls, group coaching. Um, I'm va- available for those people whenever they hit challenges, roadblocks, and they want to keep pushing forward. Two, I have a group coaching program. I'm really excited about this as we get more and more crystal clear. We're in the second cohort of this group. We did a fall of 23 and a spring of 24. And it's starting to come together as really a 10, 12-week program that helps solopreneurs, people who are consultants, creatives, maybe coaches, building a business in the six-figure. They've built 100K, 200K, maybe even 300K business, but they're hitting a ceiling. They're realizing, crap, I wear all the hats. I can't take any days off. Like if I if I want to take on a vacation for a week with my family, the business just stops. What if I get hit by a bus? Like I'm so stressed out and I have all the pressure. That's the person I help. I want to help people go from what I say from one to two. So they're this busy solopreneur. And now they're ready to be like, hey, I think this is not just a job. This is a company. This is a business. And that first, that two might be a virtual assistant or a part-time employee, or a contract, or maybe a couple agencies put together, or maybe a full-time employee. I was that person when my brother Scott and I in 2009 started a company called Nine Clouds, became that person again in 2011 when my business partner Amy and I started Lemonly. I guess I was, wasn't a one, I was always a two, but it was just two people together on our laptops building a business. And then we realized, hey, not only am I not the best at everything, there's a lot of things I'm not good at, but we, had, we have some demand here. We can create some scale and build this thing into a company, a million-dollar company. Did that twice. So that's why I want to coach because there's so many people like that who maybe go out on their own. They decide they want to be an entrepreneur. They're excited about being an entrepreneur. And then they put their heads down and they grind for a year, 12, 18 months. They stop and realize, holy moly, Like I'm working more than I used to. I'm making hopefully more, but sometimes the same, sometimes less. And it's just not as fun anymore. So we can help those people. We can turn those busy, stressful jobs into highly efficient, enjoyable, motivating, inspiring companies. And that's who I'm coaching at Leadmore. So one-on-one program, group coaching. And then for my Sioux Falls friends, anyone listening here locally, South Dakota, um, I actually do a CEO roundtable. Two groups that uh, once a month we get together for coffee. CEOs of all sorts of different companies. We have a private security company. We have a creative agency. We have a CPA. Um, also, we have a restaurant owner, all these different companies. And we get together once a month, sit around a table, uh, and we share. We talk about the challenges, personal updates, uh, professional updates, different trends we're seeing in the business, how we're tackling, tackling new uh, challenges. And now you should try to teach a framework or a model or something that can, can add value. So, Three different programs, one-on-one group, round table, and then they all get to come together online for a, like a private online community with resources, guest speakers, uh, and other stuff that I have in my online community, the Lead More community. So that's what the business looks like a little bit. Why do I love coaching? A couple thoughts. It's really, really fun to help someone transform, right? Often, there's a difference between a consultant comes in and solves a problem. I hire a consultant to come in and fix this thing. They have a specialty and they come fix it. I pay them and they move on. A coach doesn't necessarily fix your problem, but is going to ask you questions about your problem, going to challenge your thinking about that problem. Are you looking at it the right way? Do we have limiting beliefs holding us back? And maybe open up some new doors or questions and hopefully get to the bottom of where you're thinking and where you're feeling. That's why I love coaching. You can see these breakthroughs happen on some of these coaching calls where it's like, boom, light bulb moment, and the transformation happens. It's so cool. Um, what's the future look like for Lead More? I was on a run this morning with a group of people. Uh, every Wednesday at 6 a.m., we do a leader run. What's a leader run? It just means anyone who wants to wake up, work out, uh, and tackle the day and win the day. And somebody asked me, what's the, what's the coaching look like in the future? How long are you going to do this? And I get that question decent amount, which makes me think some people think uh, it maybe isn't um, the, the long-term thing. And I, and I don't know, like I'm an entrepreneur, right? I love new ideas and trends, but right now I'm very motivated about building this business. And I believe Lead More could be a million dollar business with myself, my virtual assistant and, and one other employee. But that's how fascinating and, and, and amazing this type of company can be. Um, and so I'm motivated by that challenge. That's the goal that I've set. That's the vision. 
to me, it's not a matter of if, it's just a matter of when. How fast do I want to go? How quickly can we get there? So that's what the future, I believe, looks like for Lead More. So if you're listening to the podcast, uh, keep listening. Know that every other week, for now, maybe we'll get back to it every week, but every other week, we're going to have a fantastic, inspiring leader who's going to come and teach a framework. And it may directly help you in your job or your quest to become a leader, or it may be something that someone else you know needs to hear. So you can send them that episode. You can send them, hey, you're learning about AI and how to adapt it into your job and your business. Listen to this episode with Scott and John. Hey, mindset and maybe limiting beliefs or something, like how can we slow things down, visualize things, and really unlock mental performance? Here's an episode with Christopher Kroc. Right? Each episode is going to bring some value. Send it to someone you need, who, who you know needs to hear it. And it may not just be the audio because we now are on video too. You can send them a YouTube link and they can watch it as well. So that's what Lead More looks like. The podcast is for everybody. It's free. It'll always be free. You can listen to it. And then if you are a solopreneur building a business, if you are a consultant or a coach or a creative one-man team who's thinking about turning that dial up, who's thinking about going from one to two, reach out. Let me know. I'd love to help you. So that's today's solo episode of the Lead More Podcast. I wanted to reintroduce myself and tell you a little bit about what John Meyer has been working on and what I've been building. And I thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for all the support for anybody who's ever listened to one episode or a hundred episodes. Uh, I see you and I, and I know that you hear me and I'm so grateful for that. It's amazing to build this community and I thank you so much. So as always, take care and be well.